identification of a pinion pine. They have shorter needles. They're gnarly. They don't grow straight and tall. The needles, as in all pine trees, grow in multiples. So you won't generally find single needles. Now there's one right there after I go along and say that, but you'll see that all others have multiples growing out of one place. And oftentimes you'll find they have more than two or three and different pines probably have different amounts, but a pinion pine will have two or three, generally speaking. The forest looks, you can see, gnarly. Pinions are controlled by drought or they are controlled by fire. They can grow and outcompete in a dry area, but if it gets kind of wet, they grow close together, making them susceptible to fire. Um, let's see, the, there's an open, there's a bunch of open pine cones in there, and they have dropped their pinion pine seeds. This year has been pretty good. Here's one. Um, oh, where are they? There's one. Still inside the pine cone. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure if I could break it out and film at the same time. So, the thing to take away from this is that they're shorter trees, gnarly. Multiple needles grow out of one spot. Underneath you can find pinion nuts. And today we're filming, uh, looking kind of towards King's Gulch between Poncha Springs and Salida, Colorado. Hopefully little snow because the ski season's to open Wednesday. Snow more actually, but looks like it is snowing up there. Yay!